Today we're talking about being prepared for a worst case scenario, a lipo fire. It's something that's rare and few of us will ever encounter, but it's best to be prepared and we've got a new product that might just help you out if it ever does. Now look, it's pretty dang rare for LiPo batteries to catch fire, and it feels a little taboo to even be talking about this topic because we don't want people to be scared of batteries, but it is good to understand the risks. All lithium batteries pose some sort of risk to them, and there's tons of consumer products out there that have lithium batteries in them from earbuds to smartwatches to phones and electric toothbrushes. If it's powered and wireless, it probably has a lithium battery inside. I had a cell phone years ago that was recalled because the batteries were catching fire in people's pockets. It didn't happen to me, but crazy stuff happens. And honestly, crazy things happen to anything that comes with risks. We all understand that gasoline comes with risks, but we still drive cars. Having the awareness and the knowledge of those possible dangers is how you have a safe experience. And with LiPo batteries, it's always important to follow the recommendations set by your battery and your charger manufacturer. Now this video isn't about charging, it's about a worst case scenario, a LiPo fire. And should that ever happen, do you have a plan in place? Because you probably should, and I think you should consider having a can of this Fire Sense Plus. Now this is a brand new product for us, something we just got our hands on and I believe it's something that every RCer who deals with lipos should have. Basically FireSense Plus is a handheld fire suppression system that's manufactured out of Denmark by a company called 4Fire International. The name FireSense Plus applies to their own formula of fire suppressant that you can only get through them and this stuff is really impressive. Now first, it's rated for class A fires, things like wood, paper, and plastic. It's rated for class B fires, which are flammable liquids, things like gasoline, diesel, solvents, and more. And it's also class F rated, which is for kitchens, for things like fat and cooking oil fires. And it's also non-conductive, so if you spray it on something with an electrical current, it won't come back and zap you up to a thousand volts. For Fire International, the manufacturer has also found FireSense Plus to be effective at suppressing small lithium fires, like 100 watt hours or lower, as seen in these videos they made, and you can go check these out yourself on their YouTube channel. For Fire also has a bunch of good demonstrative videos on their channel where FireSense Plus is used to suppress different types of fires that the product is rated for, and it definitely seems like some worthy stuff to have around for our hobby needs. One of the best things about FireSense Plus is how clean it is compared to your typical dry chemical fire extinguisher. For one, it's a liquid-based formula that contains cooling properties to help suppress the flames. And I was told that's one of the main reasons why it's so effective at suppressing small lithium battery fires. FireSense Plus is also biodegradable and it's non-corrosive. So if any electrical equipment gets some of this sprayed on it, it won't corrode. Anything that gets some FireSense Plus sprayed on it, you can just rinse it off with water and then let it dry. Now with your typical dry chemical fire extinguishers, things that are gonna be ABC rated or some combination of that, these things are kind of nasty to use and when you use them and spray them, they spray out big foggy like clouds. If you're inside or in tight quarters when you spray one of these, it's pretty hard to see after you've sprayed it. And that dry chemical tends to go everywhere. It's also not a really good idea to get dry chemical on your skin or breathe too much of it. Dry chemical is also pretty corrosive, so you don't want to get this stuff on your electronics and a cleanup job after you spray this stuff is going to be some work. Now FireSense Plus comes in this little 13 and a half ounce can. It's not a lot, but it's not meant for big fires. If you have a big fire, call 911 or your local fire department. These little cans were originally designed to be stored in real race cars, little boats, things like that, but they're also perfect to use on small RC batteries. Like mentioned, around 100 watt hours or lower. 
The can also has a three meter spray range and there is a 15 second depletion time before the can runs out. And it's also frost resistant down to minus 22 degrees Fahrenheit. Now these FireSense Plus cans are only 35 bucks and for what it offers you, it's totally worth it. You should have one in your RC workshop, in your hauler bag, or anywhere you use, charge, and store LiPo batteries. I think you should have a can of FireSense Plus. Now another option to be prepared for LiPo fires is not with the FireSense Plus cans, but with a product that really doesn't get talked enough about, and that is the BatSafe charge case. Now these charge cases have been out for several years, so if you're already using one, give yourself a pat on the back. Now what it is, is the BatSafe is a steel double-walled case that's ventilated, and then you put your batteries inside and seal it up while they charge, running your cables through the porthole with the charger on the outside. It may require you to make or buy longer charge leads to fit inside the box from the charger, but it is a really great option at containing a LiPo fire. The BatSafe is also a great way to store your LiPo batteries, and the small version of the BatSafe will actually safely store or charge to 6S 5,000 milliamp hour batteries safely. Those are big batteries. And the BatSafe box is actually what we use to store our video batteries inside our lab. And as long as you aren't using anything larger than two 6S 5,000 milliamp hour batteries in the small box, it will contain a LiPo fire while ventilating out all the soot and smoke through the vent holes of the box. The box will get really hot if there's a fire inside of it, so you don't want to touch it, and you want to make sure that you place it somewhere where that heat isn't going to be an issue where it's sitting. There's also the XL version of the bat box. It's the big dude and it'll safely hold, store, or charge up to four 6S LiPo batteries, which is a lot of watt hours, but it's a great option for people who have more LiPos. These bat safe boxes, they're not cheap. They're definitely an investment to have and they're totally worth it if you want a full containment system in case of having a LiPo fire. Now, a lot of people use ammo cans too and I hear they work really well. I've never personally tried them, but I've been told that as long as you ventilate them, because a lot of pressure builds up in the event of a LiPo fire, they should be all right. Just keep in mind, they get really hot, just like the bat box if there is a fire inside, so don't put it anywhere where that can be an issue. There's also the lipo sacks and the pouches, and I'm sure you guys have seen these or maybe even used them because there's tons of them out there in different sizes and colors from all the different brands. And these work okay with small lipo batteries, but they're definitely not a full containment system like the bat safe box would be. Um, instead, these are there to help buy you some time in the event of a lipo fire for you then to go and take some action. I think it would still be good though, guys, to have a can of the FireSense Plus with any of these solutions. This stuff is cheap insurance to have, and you should totally have a can or two of it if you deal with LiPo batteries. Guys, I'm Brett from A-Main Hobbies. Thanks for watching this video, and go check out FireSense Plus with our links down below. Or if you want more RC videos, well, check these out.